Hi, you two. My little love bugs. How y'all doing? So we're going to pop right in and get some messages. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I woke up, you know, not to say in a bad mood, but I woke up feeling good. But at the same time, it's like I needed a little bit of motivation, a little bit of push. So I um um I put on some gospel music. Ew. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I don't be liking cold water. I like my water room temperature, and it's so damn cold in my house that my water is cold. I don't really like that. <laughs> But yeah, I put on some gospel music this, um, this morning and I had to just rock out for a few. I'm feeling so much better. So if you feeling down, out, discouraged, baby, y'all know I'm a big fan of Pandora. They gonna sponsor me one day, but <laughs> put your, um, get some Pandora and put, put, um, a gospel um channel on it. Put a gospel radio on it. I'm telling you. Them songs going to hit different. It's going to play just what you need to hear. Sir, what do you mean? Yes. Yeah, so you got growth. It says, I, I want to expand my conscience and awareness. Yes. So I feel like, and then you have worry. I am learning that worry does not change an outcome. Yes, so you can really be um real focused on just growing as a whole as a person but i don't want you to beat your spirit don't want you i don't want you to either but um spirit don't want you to beat yourself up about it you got to take it one day at a time and understand that um things is going to happen exactly when they should you know what i'm saying i feel like some of us could you know want to grow and learn and do so much but you really gotta um you got to crawl before you can walk, and you got to walk before you can fly. So you can't go from crawling to walking, okay? You got to take it one step at a time, one step at a time, because I'm hearing that if you rush into something that you're not ready for, you're going to ruin it. You're going to ruin it. You're not even going to know how to handle it, how to take care of it. So just be mindful to um take things one at a time and... and and what, what, what word am I looking for? I'm hearing like stride. Like, what am I trying to say? Like, make daily strides, I guess that's how you say it. And bettering yourself. <clears throat> and understanding that you don't have nothing to worry about. Everything is going to take place and happen just when it should for you. That's a good energy. Yeah, honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect the truth from myself. Yeah, so be honest with yourself about what it is that you want and ask yourself, like, yeah, I want this and that, but am I ready for it physically, mentally, emotionally? You know, am I ready for um this this new this new life that I'm about to get? And if not, whatever areas you're not ready for. You need to get ready for it. But take your time and understand that everything going to happen exactly when it should. When things come to you, know that you're ready for it. That's good energy. Okay, one more card is coming. What happened? Okay, and patience is here again. I accept that everything happens in divine timing. Yeah, so be patient. Be patient. Understand that... Um, Things could be ending in your life, and that's another way that you are growing through it. Don't worry about it, okay? You know, it could be some situations where people not being honest. You got to just be honest with yourself about it. That's really all I can say. Be honest with yourself, and that's all that matters. You're going to grow through everything you're going through. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like you want to grow and, and do so much so fast. It's like, don't overwork yourself. Set boundaries. And I feel like if you set goals and you say, okay, I, I want to have this and this, this and this done by a certain time, you can make short-term goals and long-term goals. But I feel like if you set yourself up for that, that way, 
even if you check in and say you got five goals for the month of May, right? And by the end of May, you checked all four. That's your way of showing you like the progress you made so you could kind of see that you are growing, that you are evolving. Don't 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 beat yourself up. The little steps is, is the most important ones. Like I said, you gotta crawl before you can walk and you gotta walk before you can fly. That's beautiful. And I know it's easier said than done, but you got to really know in yeah, divine intervention that the most high got you. The most high, the most high got you. You covered. And I've seen a yes card. So, yes. Anything you want, you definitely can have it. We keep seeing this card. Be realistic, but don't play small. Leave room for God. So, it's like. With this part, I just keep feeling that, like, either somebody is playing themselves short or somebody is in the energy of having a dream so big and so high. Not to say that they can't be reached, but in due time, in due time, you can't say, oh, I, I, I want to I wanna buy a house, get a car, um, go on vacation every three months. This is, It's like, bro. You got to take time to and let things flow. Not to say that in the future, you won't have your car, you won't have your dream house, and you won't be able to go on, on, on vacation every three months. But it's like in due time, okay? And even if you got like a business and you saying like, oh, you want um, this many customers by this time. This, But it's like, say you said you want 50 customers. It's like, all right. Now you at 40, don't beat yourself up about it. Because then by the end of the month, you motherfucking be at 70 customers. So you got to just leave room for God to work with you. When you seeing things that's not going, you know, how you thought it would go, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's where that leave room for God at coming. Because as long as he see you working and um providing, he's definitely going to... um. Show his appreciation for you, you know, doing the work. I could be talking to a divine masculine from the car that I just seen, but it's going to work out for you, bro. It's going to work out for you. I am in my purpose. Yeah, you in your purpose. Don't worry about it. I really feel like somebody, you know, it's like you've been down through this so much. And now that you on this path of doing what it is that you want to do is doing what you're supposed to do, not doing what you want to do. But doing what you're supposed to do is like you just want to exceed all expectations that is expected of you. But let me tell you something. The most high, like he ain't going to put more on you than you can bear. So don't put more on yourself than, than you ready for. Okay? Because that's where it, it won't align because he's not going to give you something that you cannot bear right now. So although you may be thinking like, oh, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for that. You you may not be, and, and, and it's not that you may not be, you're not, because if you were, you would have it right now, but so it's just like, keep working, keep growing, keep grinding, because it's going to come for you, and, and don't overwork yourself to the point that is like, you fighting against what the most high got for you, because I'm telling you, it's going to work out in your favor regardless. Yeah, butterfly effect. You really going through the changes, the necessary changes. These changes that you are going through is very much necessary. Very much necessary. Also, somebody needs to save their home. Save your home. I know, I just said I need to get some more sage. I'm going to smudge the shit out this crib. Fuck around. Smudge the whole damn building. Yeah, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you real hard on yourself. Like, 
And you could just be a perfectionist. It really could just be in your chart. You know, you have this naturally. But you got to understand when, like, everything got a positive and a negative to it. So you got to understand when you too much. I really could be talking to a Capricorn. You know, somebody who's real um, driven, hardworking. But you know, the Capricorn represents the devil in tarot. So it's like you could become obsessed with being, you know, being the best person you can be. But it's like you, you really got to take your time with yourself. You got to take your time with yourself. And you could be in an energy like, damn, you know, if I would have did this or did that. It's like, bro, just forgive yourself for whatever the fuck happened and move forward. That's all you could do is just forgive yourself and move forward. Yeah, it's like release all that negative energy. You need to be telling yourself, I release all negative energy. I am always evolving. You may need to um write down some daily affirmations and just say them daily. I know I got some affirmations. I I, I don't be saying them every day, but I need to. We being transparent up here. Everybody ain't perfect. It, but it's all about learning the errors of your ways and, and, and um, recognizing them and making the changes that need to be made. And it, it change don't happen overnight. Yeah, I have great health in all areas. Yeah, so it's like right now you need to focus on your mental health, your spiritual health, um, your physical health. You may need to, you may want to hit the gym. I'm hearing that if you go for like a morning walk or a morning run, it will kind of release that tension. You know, because I feel like some people, some of y'all, are, are you may feel stagnant, like you've done a, a lot, and then it's still like you want more to do, you want, I'm telling you, be careful, yeah, and with this honor your inner child, you do, do some fun stuff too, don't make it all about work, I'm hearing bowling, like go bowling by yourself, play a game of bowling, you know, um, if you got... A recreational gym go shoot some hoops or even in the park now it's getting nice outside you know get you a little basketball go to the park um throw the ball around shoot some hoops like ease your mind in other ways everything is not always about work 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 you know what i'm saying you got to really take a that, that you got to really take a break get out in nature you know just go sit in the park for a few do things so you're not always feeling like you you're not doing nothing okay the smallest thing is something look you got spiritual initiation you will be going through another spiritual initiation but with this slow and steady wins the race and then right behind that you got um 666 divinely balanced it's like yeah take that time out and get into nature do you know like i said if you got recreational centers or a park Go sit in the park. Go watch the kids run around and play. You know, you know, you'll be surprised what you would see and witness just sitting in the park. Even if the park got mad trees and it's not even really a playground. Like, I'm telling you, spirit going to start talking to you. Yeah, talk less, feel more. You're going to start feeling these emotions that you are supposed to feel. You know, like you're going to get confirmation for what it is that you need to do. And, and God going to show you just how much. Be proud of what you've been doing. So, that's good energy. I know after this read, I'm going to go, um, probably go for a little walk. I said I was going to do that. I don't know if it might be a little chilly outside. But I'm, you know, got a coat. Go out for a little walk. Get some fresh air. Get in the nature. Go sit in the park. You know, that's it. Just go sit on the bench. Watch the birds. Yeah, I feel like you in this Knight of Wands energy, like real passionate, real um, driven, like you just ready to go. But Spirit telling you, take a break, be easy, be easy, slow and steady in the race. You got to know this balance is coming in for you. You ain't got to do too much. You doing, you, you, you doing just enough. You ain't got to do too much. I know some of us could be just working extra hard, um, trying to get out this, you know, get out of people's way, space. I'm telling you, everything going to work out how it should. 
sometimes you got to look at how far you've come just to see where the fuck you going. Okay? Sometimes you got to look at how far you've come just to see where the fuck you going. So I see the Six of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the um, Six of Cups. And I also keep seeing this card. Y'all know y'all, we seen these in the last two readings, the Strength and the Eight of Swords. So you gonna have the strength to get up out your head or, you know, like I said, I really feel like I'll be talking to a Leo or a, um, a fire sign because we got this Queen of Wands out here again. So, I feel like with these cards, like, you're going to get your public recognition. You know what I'm saying? This black cat is standing out to me in this card. So, just know, like, you could be seeing black cats. Or if you get out into nature, you will see a bunch of them shits. Not to say it like that. <laughs> but get out some. Get out some. I feel like somebody is so cooped up. In the house, you only go out when you, like, when it's essential. Like, stop doing that. Go outside for a fucking walk and just get some fresh air. But I feel like this black cat is essential. Like, yo, spirit gods. It's like you, because remember we seen the Knight of Wands. So it's like you, you, you working towards this Queen of Wands energy. Or you could already be in this energy. But you got your spirit gods with you. This black cat is just, like, sticking out to me. I want a black cat so bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you got your spirit guides with you. With this seven of um pentacles, I feel like you know you you waiting for. It's like you see how you could be doing all this work, all this work, planting all these seeds, and then when you look, you got one pentacle. Okay, and that could make you feel sad, you know, depressed. I know money ain't everything, but we do need money to to live. You know, to survive, that's just, that's that goes without saying, you know that. And I feel like sometimes you get in this energy, when you see that you only have, you know, one pentacle, you don't even realize that all these is building up for you. And that could keep you trapped in your head or feeling, you know, in this five of cups energy, like that's when you, that's when that you feel like you're not doing enough comes in there. But you got to understand that. It's going to work out with you. With this Six of Cups, I'm getting that, like, you know, it could be people from your past that could be trying to project that energy on you and keep you stuck in your head as if you're not doing enough or you're, like, you know. But look, you got the Six of Swords. Like, come about that energy. Come about that energy because you definitely can move on to calmer waters. You got two Sixes out here already. And, you, no, you got three Sixes. You got the Six of Wands. Wow. The Six of Swords and the Six of Cups. Mind you, you already got six, six, six. Divinely balanced, bro. Whoever I'm talking to, you better understand this. These cycles is closing out. These cycles are closing out. These cycles are you feeling like you don't got enough. You're not doing enough. Like, cut that out. Cut that out. I'm telling you, put some gospel music on. You got 666 divinely balanced out here. Then you got the Six of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Six of Swords with the world. That's the only major I can out here. The world. You got to know things is, things is going to work out for the, for the better when it comes to you. You got to just take your time. Be easy. Move slow. Don't, don't be in a rush to do nothing. You know, get out that nine of, get out that nine of Wands. I mean, that Knight of Wands energy, you know. Real fast and fiery and all of that. Get out that energy. You know what I'm saying? Sit up on your throne. Sit up on your throne. Get off that horse. You know, sit up on your throne and, and know that you, you protect it. And that whatever you need is going to come to you. You ain't got to go chase nothing. You attract them everything. And I see this king of swords that popped out. So I could be talking to an ear sign as well. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know why they fell like that, but that's the Ten of Pentacles in the Five of Wands in the reverse. What is this? What's this Ten of Pentacles in the Five of Wands in the reverse? Okay, I feel like somebody could be staying with somebody for some money. 
It's like you dealing with somebody for some money. And you know that if you leave this five of wands energy, you leaving the money behind too. Yeah. It's like you only looking at the coin. But baby, don't worry about that coin. I'm telling you, if it if the coin, if that ten of pentacles is coming with a lot of chaos and conflict, you don't fucking need it. And if you made the ten of pentacles before, trust and believe you can go make that shit again and then some. Somebody staying in a situation because of some money. Yeah, but you need to release that. If that's what you're worried about, because what's this? Yeah. And honesty, somebody could be lying to you. But I feel like once you release that, this 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 new love is going to come in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now you got the back. I could really be talking to a fire sign. And now you got the temperance and the five of not the five of nines. <laughs> What's the five of nines? What the fuck is that? Um, the nine of cups. Okay. I don't know. Somebody could be fifty nine, but or turning fifty nine. But yeah, just you got to hold back from this energy. Whatever this energy is that that got you fighting or feeling like, um. If you leave, you ain't gonna have no money. I'm telling you, balance. You gonna get this. I could be. You gonna get this empress. You gotta. You gotta leave that shit alone, though. Stop looking at shit. Stop looking at only money. Like people. People care too much about money. That's the thing. Like I said, I understand that. You know, you need money to survive. But if you fucking stressing yourself out, dealing with somebody who got some money and you fucking catch a heart attack and die, then then what? Okay, now your life is just over. So stop stop dealing with people and letting people stress you out because they got fucking money. Fuck them and they money. Okay, because nine times out of ten, that money got the same energy they got and you can't keep it long anyway. Ooh, baby. I know y'all. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm telling you, that's that's just confirmation for me. Leave them motherfuckers out in the cold. Okay? You can feel like, oh, if you leave them, you're gonna be out in the cold. You ain't gonna know how to um how to how to go on or what to do. You could really be living with somebody. You know, and it's like you staying with them. I know who the fuck I was talking to. You got the king of wands, you got the empress and the queen of wands. Now you got the king of king of wands and the emperor, bro. Lead that, lead, and then then we see. Okay, yeah, lead that shit alone. You got two, you got counterparts out here, literally, with the empress and the queen of wands and the king of wands and the emperor, bro. Work towards that sun, cause it's yours to have. Balance is definitely finna come of this situation, but if you staying with somebody. Because they got some money. That ain't going to never work out for you. It's going to keep falling how my motherfucking phone was falling. Okay? Yeah, now you got the three of wands. Yeah, you got to go out and do some fucking soul searching. Go out. Go venture out. Go sit in the fucking park. I keep hearing it. Look, now you got the last six. Six of pentacles and the high priestess. You got all sixes out here. The six of swords, the six of cups, the six of pentacles, and the six of wands. You know what you need to do, though. You know what you need to do. And somebody really could be, you know, doing magic over you to make you feel like you stuck or you can't move. Mm -mm. Come, forgive yourself. For, or you could feel stuck like you can't move because... You ain't forgiving yourself for, for, for how you even got there. You're not forgiving yourself that you cared more about money than you did about your actual happiness. But that's something that you got to go within and figure out. Nobody can't figure that out for you. So this is the message that I have for you guys. Know that balance is coming in. You don't have nothing to worry about. Like slow and steady really went away. Take your time and learn thyself and just. Sometimes really look back at where you were just to see how far you've come.
So that's the message that I have for you guys. And until next time.